Jamaica, man, it's got one really famous haunted place, and that is called Rose Hall. Now, apparently Rose Hall is haunted by a ghost named Annie Palmer, which, oddly enough, they call the White Witch. Weird. Now, Rose Hall was initially built in the 1770s, but nowadays it's practically a resort. And a really nice one of that, you can go do some serious golfing. Yeah, Yo, by the way, if any of you guys are golfers, hit that like button. Seriously, did nobody hit the like button there? Right, because golf, those pants, they're just too goofy. Now currently, it is owned by Miss World USA, Michelle Rollins. But as for the ghost, well, got some bad news because it's really not real. Now it was fictionalized from a Jamaican novel called The White Witch of Rose Hall by Herbert G. DeLisser. Now it was published in 1929 and yes, yeah, some people still say, oh well, he got it from a story of a ghost that was in Rose Hall. So maybe that's true, but that is where the story really blew up from. Now keep in mind, there was a woman that did exist and her name was Rosa. But unlike the ghost in the story, they didn't share very similar character traits. But who knows, what do you think? Haunted, yay or nay? Now guys, we gotta move on to number two because first of all, I might be related to this lady. We're talking about the brown lady of Rhina Mahal. Now her actual name is Lady Dorothy Walpole. That's right, Walpole for the win, yeah! <laughs> so, that's right, oh, us Walpoles, we definitely would be scaring people after we die because we, uh, we just <laughs> love getting under people's skin. Now the hall was completed in 1637 and for 400 years it was owned by the Townsend home. Now Dorothy Walpole, she was the sister of the first Prime Minister of England, and that was Robert Walpole. Dude, I got royalty in me too? This is awesome! Now as for Dorothy, she is probably the most famous ghost in the entire world. You probably have seen this image before, and yeah, it's terrifyingly creepy. That staircase? No thanks. It's not like Gone with the Wind where you're carrying a beautiful dame up the staircase. This one, you're running away from the staircase. Now this photo was taken in 1936, and the story is that Dorothy committed adultery with a man by the name of Lord Wharton. And when her husband Charles Townsend found out, he locked her in a room where she died from starvation. Now the first person to see the ghost of Dorothy was Lucia C. Stone during a Christmas gathering in 1835. Whew! Just scary! No, get me out of this video! Ah! Now for number three, let's go down under. We're talking about the Princess Theatre in Melbourne, Australia. Now this theatre sat 1,488 people when it opened in 1854. Now it is the oldest continuing entertainment theatre in all of Australia. By 1885, it was under the hands of new management, but the theatre had become run down, so the owners demolished it and rebuilt a new one the following year. And where the ghost stories come from is all because of March 3rd, 1888. Woo! Got it right. This is where Frederick Baker was performing the opera Faust. He apparently fell into a trap door and suffered a severe heart attack. He was immediately taken to the hospital, but his cast and crew were like, no, he was there for the final bow. And since then, there have been numerous sightings of Frederick, but the theater honors his death by having an open spot for him at every single showing. Okay, next one, we're talking about the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. It is the creepiest place on earth. <laughs> You know when you talk about insane asylums? Yo, that's kind of what it is. Although it's not actually an insane asylum, it's a tuberculosis hospital. Just as creepy, right? Because let's be honest, you can't talk about haunted places without an abandoned hospital. Now this is one of my personal favorites because it is just so creepy. I would love to film a movie there. I've always wanted to go, but I've never had the time. Now it was originally built in 1910 in Jefferson County. Jefferson County had become ravaged by the disease of tuberculosis and they needed a hospital quick. However, around 1961, the site actually closed because, well, they developed an antibiotic to fight off tuberculosis. However, it was reopened in 1962 as a geriatric center, but it closed in 1982 due to patient neglect. Now, since then, there has been a lot of attempts to reopen this building. However, in 2001, it was purchased by Tina and Charlie Mattingly, who now use the site for ghost tours and spend their earned money on restoring the site. And as a matter of fact, you can see they've even put in new windows. Boom. <laughs> Among the beautiful places of the Philippines, you'll find some places that are terrifying, scary, and haunted as well. We have the Baleti Drive. This is a two-lane street in Quezon City, and it's believed to be haunted by a white-veiled lady who appears often just out of nowhere. Trees line the road, so that adds to the scary feeling. And as the story goes, the white veiled lady is the ghost of a girl who passed away in a car accident. And she had gotten lost, so she tried to hitch a ride with somebody else so she could just make it back home. 
Now, other stories say that the ghost is actually of a young lady from the Spanish era. Either way, driving down the street, especially at nighttime, is not advised. The place at number 9 is Ozone Disco. On March 18th, 1996, a fire broke out in this disco and more than 100 people lost their lives. Most of them were students that were graduating from local universities and nowadays Ozone Disco is an abandoned disco but there have been many reports of strange activities happening there at night. People have seen things like disco lights flashing, they have heard sounds of people, as well as have seen silhouettes of people dancing. Number eight leads us to Ballet Negrensi. Ballet Negrensi is an ancestral house located in the province of Negros Occidental and it was the home of a sugar baron and the house still contains several rooms for his 12 children. It's been maintained up until now and it serves as a tourist destination and a museum at the same time. Now what makes this place creepy though is that the rooms are so preserved, like it looks like somebody still lives in them. There are also rooms that have mirrors in the house and looking into them gives you that feeling that somebody might appear behind you at any time. You know, kind of like in the movies where somebody's looking in the mirror and then they see the figure appear behind them and they turn around and nothing's there. Yeah, <laughs> that feeling. Fort Santiago is up next at number seven. This historic site turns really creepy at nighttime. Before the Philippines liberation, Fort Santiago was the center of both American and Spanish colonial governments. The city's walls still stand tall during the day, but in the evenings, they give off a very dark and spooky vibe. There have been many reported sightings of ghosts of Filipino soldiers in that area, and residents also claim to hear screaming from the dungeons. It's said that the Japanese really tormented and got rid of many, many Filipino soldiers during the World War II era. Next up, I gotta talk about the Manila Film Center. The Manila Film Center is infamous for a construction accident that happened on November 17th, 1981, where more than 100 construction workers fell from the collapsed scaffolding and they were buried in cement. It's believed by some people that the construction workers were actually buried on purpose because, you know, conducting a search and rescue operation and even going and recovering bodies of those who did not survive would take a long time and that would delay the construction of the building. Some people who have visited the building reported wailing sounds and screams of men in pain and it's believed that these are the spirits of those who were buried in the cement. 455 A Sackett Street in Brooklyn is an apartment with a detailed history of creepy incidents. One woman who grew up there writes about her first-hand experiences, including unexplained fires, seriously bad energy, family tragedies, personal suffering, and here's the kicker, the body of a child discovered in the wall after several suspicious sightings of a similar looking shadow child in the mirror. Next up on our tour, we have the Hotel Monte Vista. The Hotel Monte Vista, which opened as the community hotel in 1927, has a history of underground opium dens, speakeasies, and gambling. Today, the hotel is known for the paranormal activity that haunts some of the rooms and halls. Specifically, guests who have stayed in room 220 have experienced the TV changing channels on its own accord, and some have said they felt cold hands touching them in their sleep. There's also reportedly a phantom bellboy who knocks on doors and announces room service but when guests get to the door, no one is there. One of the more popular and possibly most disturbing encounters is the sound of an infant crying in the basement. All right, moving on to Myrtle's Plantation. Rumored to be on top of a burial ground is the Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana, which is the home to at least 12 different ghosts which have apparently been sighted. Constructed in 1796, ghost stories center around the tale of an enslaved woman named Chloe who had her ear chopped off 
after she was reportedly caught eavesdropping on her masters. Seeking revenge, Chloe killed two of the masters' daughters by poisoning a birthday cake. She was then hanged by her fellow enslaved people and today is reportedly seen wandering the plantation with a turban to conceal her ear. All right, next up we have the Mizpah Hotel. In 1907, Mizpah Hotel opened as one of the first luxury hotels in Nevada. With a rich history and elaborate decor, the hotel is best known for its legend of the Lady in Red. A woman was murdered in her room on the fifth floor, some say it was a jealous ex-boyfriend. Those who stayed at the hotel say the lady in red whispers in men's ears and leaves pearls from her broken necklace on guests' pillows. And bringing us down to number one today, we have the Hotel Cecil. Now, more cursed than haunted, downtown LA's Hotel Cecil got such a bad rap that it actually changed its name to Stay on Main. The first recorded death by suicide was in 1931, followed by a long string of similar deaths. At some point in the 30s, one man was pinned to the exterior wall by a truck, a woman murdered her newborn in the building in 1944, and the pattern of suicides continued into the 60s. In 1962, a woman jumped from the ninth floor window and landed on a pedestrian, killing them both. In 1964, Goldie Osgood was brutally murdered, a crime that has remained unsolved till today. The weirdest is definitely the disappearance and death of 21-year-old traveler Alyssa Lamb. Few weeks after Lamb went missing, her body was discovered in the rooftop water tank after visitors and tenants complained about a funky taste in the water. There's even a creepy Netflix documentary about it that you might want to check out for more details. Caritas Hospital. Located in Bucharest, the Caritas Hospital is one of the oldest hospitals in the city. In 1933, the Jewish community of Bucharest established the new maternity, and in 1941, just before World War II, the Romanian military transformed the building into a war hospital for the second time, and the state authorities nationalized it in the year 1948. And then right after the nationalization, some of the best medics in Romania, they moved their cabinets here. And the building became a university's hospital. The hospital continued to function up until the year 2005, when it was returned to the Caritia Foundation. But six years later, the hospital was permanently closed and everyone was moved to other hospitals. The hospital is completely abandoned and filled with disease right now. Now let's look at the Chianja Monastery. The Chianja Monastery was completed in the year 1790 and soon after its completion the church was bombarded by the Turks. All the documents that were inside were completely destroyed by fire but the church stood standing. The monastery shortly after was abandoned due to a plague that started and no one has ever returned to restore it since then. And the crazy thing though is that after the 1977 earthquake the bell tower of the church fell and was washed away by the river and locals say on nights where there's a full moon the church bell can be heard leading many to believe that the church is haunted with spirits. Ooh, the witch's pond is next at number three. In the Boldu Kretieshka forest near Bukharesh, magic and rituals happen frequently here. This location is completely filled with all kinds of sorcery. Witches perform their rituals here every single year during the Saznianelli celebration in June. Also, the place just never dries up, like, and it never expands, and neither rain nor the lack of rain affects the pond in any way. Even animals can sense that something is up with this pond because it's said that they never even drink water from there. At number two, we have the Chismigu Hotel. This hotel was left in ruins in the year 1970, and in the year 1990, the Theater Academy turned it into a residence for students. But one weekend, a young girl fell down an elevator shaft because it was so dark she hadn't even realized that she wasn't actually stepping into a room. And as the story goes, for about three hours, she screamed for help, but no one heard her. This was because on this particular weekend, almost all of the students had gone home and since then people report hearing her screams for help in the rooms and hallways of the hotel. And our final scariest place in Romania is the Hoya Bacu 
forest. And now this is considered to be the world's most haunted forest. There's a whole slew of unusual phenomenon that happens like creepy voices, lights coming out of nowhere, strange shadows, and apparently there's a portal that leads to a parallel universe. It literally has everything that you see in the movies. That's crazy. People who have gone into the forest have suffered from burns on their skin, headaches, anxiety, among other things. And others have said that spirits are haunting the forest. The forest also has like this spot of land where nothing actually grows there. So you know me, I'm not gonna go and travel into that forest to see if it's haunted or not. All right, coming in at number 10, we have the Winchester House, USA. After the death of her husband and child, Sarah Winchester, the wife of a rifle maker's son, consulted a seer who proclaimed her family had been killed by the ghosts of those who died of bullets from her family's guns. The seer suggested that only perpetual construction on the family's mansion could nullify these spirits. So that's what Sarah Winchester ordered. Workmen labored on the property every hour of every day for 38 years. The 160 room estate in San Jose, California was built entirely without the aid of blueprints and it's truly bizarre. Some of the creepier features are staircases that lead nowhere, doors that open to brick walls, or sudden 10 foot drops, and a window with an etched glass spider web motif. You definitely don't want to get lost in this maze of a house. Let's make our way over to Poveglia Island in Italy. In the south lagoon between Venice and Lido sits the small Italian island of Poveglia. In 1348, the bubonic plague arrived in Venice and Poveglia Island became a quarantine colony. Venice exiled many of its symptom-bearing citizens there where the dead and those too sick to protest were burned on giant pyres. In the late 1800s, the area's mentally ill resided in an asylum on Poveglia. There are rumors that in the 1930s, a doctor performed strange experiments on the patients here. Eventually, the doctor went mad and threw himself from the asylum's tall bell tower. Though the bell in the tower was removed decades ago, locals still claim to hear its chimes echo from the lonely island. Today, the entire island is abandoned. Locals and tourists are prohibited from visiting and fishermen steer clear of the accursed place. Italian construction crews attempted to restore the former hospital building, but abruptly stopped without explanation, leaving locals to speculate that they were driven away by by the island's dark forces. Next, we're going to be talking about Raynham Hall in England. Raynham Hall is an estate in the Norfolk, England, haunted by the Brown Lady. The estate is supposedly haunted by Dorothy Townsend, who was abused by her husband, Viscount Townsend, in the early 1700s. According to the legend, Dorothy's husband married her in 1713, then locked her in Raynham Hall. He supposedly buried her alive in 1726. Six. Her ghostly appearance on the property in the 1820s caused all the staff to permanently leave the estate. In 1936, two photographers captured the most famous ghost picture of all time, showing the brown lady on the oak staircase in the main hall. Photography experts say the photograph is genuine and there is no explanation for the apparition. All right, let's take a trip to the Lizzie Borden House, USA. Today, this allegedly haunted bed and breakfast in Fall River, Massachusetts is the site of a gruesome and highly publicized murder that occurred in 1892. Although she was acquitted, Lizzie Borden was suspected of murdering her father and stepmother with a hatchet in their unassuming home. Although there wasn't enough evidence to convict her at the time, suspicions of her guilt
guilt remained. Since then, guests have reported all manner of strange sightings in the house. For anyone intrigued by unsolved crimes and brave enough to risk an encounter with the supernatural, this is an ideal destination. All right, up next we have Casa Loma in Canada. From strange apparitions to spooky voices and unseen grabbing hands, Casa Loma Castle in Toronto, Ontario, Canada has more than its share of ghost stories. Staff and guests at the historic castle have shared enough stories of seeing a mysterious lady dressed in white on the second floor, hearing the mutters and sighs of a crotchety man near the stables, the appearance of a man tending to the gardens near the indoor conservatory, the sound of children's voices when no children are around, or the feeling of being grabbed or pulled in the tunnels leading to the stables. These and other paranormal experiences have gained the castle a reputation as a supernatural hotspot. The castle even offers ghost tours led by Canada's Most Haunted. Nature lovers might not be so in love with this one, Tao Don Park, Vietnam. Tao Don Park in Ho Chi Minh City is a paradise for those who love natural beauty in the day, taking walks amidst tropical trees, but by night, a different feeling overcomes the park. Considered one of Vietnam's most haunted spots, Tao Don Park is said to be haunted by a ghost who roams the park in search of his lover. According to a tale, the couple were enjoying a picnic more than a decade ago when they were attacked. The woman ran off and escaped, but her partner was killed trying to protect her. There are frequent reported sightings of the man wandering the park at dusk, there one moment and then mysteriously vanishing the next. Creepy, right? All right, and coming in at number four, we have the Akershus Fortress in Norway. This medieval castle once served as a defense stronghold for the city of Oslo, and it is rumored to be the most haunted place in Norway. The most popular sightings include a demon dog with glowing eyes that is said to guard the gates to the castle, as well as the ghost of a woman with no facial features who appears out of the darkness in a long robe. Used as a prison for Norway's most infamous criminals, the site of many World War II executions as well, the sounds of prison chains rattling can be heard around the property. All right, let's take a trip to Hoya Bachu Forest, Romania. Known by many as the Bermuda Triangle of Romania, this forest is considered the most haunted in the world. Warped trees fill the forest, their skeletal figures twisting and spiraling, an eerie silence fills the air interrupted only by the footsteps of unseen figures. Visitors often report intense feelings of anxiety and the feelings of being watched while traveling through the forest. Some of the most common sightings include ghosts, unexplained apparitions, faces appearing in photographs that were not visible with the naked eye, and even rumors of alien encounters. All right, let's continue our journey with Lawang Sewu, Indonesia. The former railway building and World War II prison is believed to be the most haunted place in Indonesia. Indonesia. Among the many ghosts that have been reported here, the most popular are the Dutch woman, a headless spirit, and a Kuntalanak, a female vampiric ghost in Malaysian and Indonesian mythology. It is here that prisoners and prisoners of war were tortured and hung from iron beams in the ceilings. It is rumored that guests who stand below these beams are in for a haunting experience. Many of the locals refuse to enter this house for fear of a ghost attaching themselves to them. They warn all those who wish to visit this building, however, this has never deterred the visitors. Visitors have reported hearing pained cries and anguished screams coming from the basement. And all the way down at number one today, we have the Island of the Dolls in Mexico. Xochimilco, Mexico is primarily known for its Island of the Dolls. This tiny island is famous for the hundreds of decaying dolls and doll parts hanging from trees and scattered among the grass. 
Although it looks more like a horror movie set than anything else, the island used to be the actual residence of a now deceased man named Julian Santa Barrera. After finding a dead girl's body in a nearby canal, Barrera collected and displayed the toys in the hopes of warding off evil spirits. The disturbing sounds of crying children have been heard by those brave enough to venture the island. 